Good morning. It's 8.30 on Thursday, the 19th of September. And I've just had a phone call from the big hospital over the hill. And they've got me booked in for my biopsy in the lymph nodes on my neck. And I was very concerned that it's going to be done under a local anaesthetic and they might be using mRNA technology, which I won't accept. So I um, explained that I'd had a phone call already from a doctor who spoke really poor English and I didn't consider that to be informed consent. So I insisted that a English speaking doctor call me and explain to me all the ins and outs of the procedure. I got that within 15 minutes. I was very, very pleased. So after listening to this doctor explain to me exactly what's going to be happening next Wednesday, it's um, only six days away. Uh, I'm, my mind's at rest. I'm a lot happier with that. It will be interesting to know the results of the biopsy. It's not going to make much difference to my life. It just means that I will have a little bit more info. I'll know the exact type of lymphatic cancer that I've got. I'll know its stage. We'll be able to look for signs of it metastasizing. I hope I'm saying that word correctly. But metastasizing is where the cancer tumour grows into surrounding tissue and it's starting to spread. So it's not just inflamed lymph glands, it's inflamed lymph glands metastasizing into the flesh around it. The detail that I wanted to be absolutely sure of was that the local anaesthetic is not going to contain any mRNA technologies. The um, local anaesthetic they're going to be using is called lidocaine. And I've got the page up here for lidocaine from Wikipedia. And they say lidocaine, also known as lignocaine, lidocaine, also known as lignocaine, is sold under the brand name of xylocaine, among others. It's a local anesthetic of the amino acid type. That made me feel a lot better. It's used to treat ventricular ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation. In other words, it's used to slow the heart down in cases of heart attack. When used for local anesthesia or in nerve blocks, lidocaine typically begins working within several minutes and lasts for half an hour to three hours. Lidocaine mixtures may be applied directly into the skin or the mucous membranes to numb the area. It's also often mixed with small amounts of adrenaline to prolong its effects and decrease bleeding. If injected intravenously, it may also cause cerebral effects such as confusion, changes in vision, numbness, tingling or vomiting. That's why it's important for me not to drive over because if I drive over there and I have any kind of adverse reaction, I'm stuck. So I'm going to be using the health shuttle it's a volunteer staffed van that drives around the satellite towns around our main city and picks up people who need to go in for procedures like this. Um, lidocaine was discovered in 1946 and went on sale in 1948. I'm happy about that. It's older than me. It's listed on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. Um, used as a numbing agent. Very often used in dentistry, which also cheers me up no end because when I get all this sorted, the next thing I have to do is attend to my teeth. Because I've been so sick for the last two years because of this, all sorts of things have got into me and I had terrible mouth ulcers and sores 18 months ago. That resulted in a real state of affairs going on in here and I lost two of my front teeth. They literally broke in half. Um, it's been horrible eating and living with two smashed front teeth for the last six or seven months 
but it's given me chance to research. I don't just jump in and take the first quote or take the first version of what they suggest they might do. I shop around. And in shopping around, I found an awesome deal on getting my teeth fixed. But that's a subject for another video. If you want to see the details of how dentistry can be achieved really, really cost effectively, then please do subscribe to the channel because as soon as I've got this under control, the teeth get done. And you'll be pleasantly surprised with the news that I've got for you. Because instead of a fifteen to twenty thousand dollar bill, which I was expecting, I found a way of getting my teeth done for under two and a half thousand dollars. So I know this isn't the usual content. This probably isn't the content that you subscribe to the channel for, but I'm still fixing things, designing things, making things, recycling things, and repairing things. It's just that right now, it's me. Other things that I want to mention in this video before I disappear is the Essiac tea. Essiac tea is a very important part of my well-being. I'm not going to talk about it on this video. It's up to you to go and do some research. And by research, I don't mean Google it. I've now absolutely beyond a shadow of a doubt proved that Google is bought and paid for. You don't get all the results. You get the results that they want you to see. They, you get the results that drive you towards the people who advertise with them. You need to be using an impartial and honest search engine. There's plenty of them out there. But hey, that's research for, your, for, your, for you to do in your own time. But please, don't trust the main search engine that we've all been conditioned to use. The other thing that's very important in my well-being is this. This is something that I've been using now for a week and a half, and it's making the world of difference. Once again, I'm not going to chat about it on here because they don't like to hear it. They don't like to hear talk of people fixing problems with their body without using mainstream pharmaceuticals. So this is something else that you need to look into. And once again, use an impartial search engine. Don't rely on the one that we've been conditioned to use. So. It'll help me out immensely if you do all the youtube -y things like like, share, subscribe, comment, ask a question, send me a smile, any of those things. The algorithm appreciates it. It helps me to get these videos out to more people. And one more thing, if you find that you're getting any value out of this, you get the chance to say thanks by buying me a coffee. There's a website up here that you can go to and you can just buy me a coffee or two or three. And that's just a way of saying thanks for the information that I'm bringing you on the subject and all the other stuff that I've done in the past. I did set that buy me a coffee thing up as a way of just getting a few dollars into the coffers so that I can bring you more videos. Well, in a roundabout way, that's is what it's being used for because if I can't keep going if I can't bring in a little bit of income just to pay my bills and buy food then this can't carry on I live a very off-grid lifestyle here I don't pay any utilities I've been using solar power for the last 17 years, and during those 17 years, I've gradually upped my system and made it more reliable and stronger for in times when it's raining and the, there isn't so much sun. But all of that is covered in other videos. Just know that I really appreciate you being here. It's wonderful to be bringing you these daily videos, and I will be making them daily so long as I've still got daily news. And my daily news today is I'm off for the biopsy in my neck next Wednesday, and they're using a fairly benign local anaesthetic that 
we've all used, that we've all had in our past, and it doesn't contain the mRNA technology. Now, why am I concerned about the mRNA technology? It's because it's new, it's untested, and it appears to be having an awful lot of serious side effects. So I don't want anything to do with it.